Are you ready to join this foodies party? Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. In this video recipe we are making a saffron risotto and we're gonna turn it into arancini with ham, mozzarella and provolone cheese. In this video I'm collaborating with my great foodie friend Barbara from Buona Papa, a YouTube channel. It's all about teaching you how to feed your kids the right way, how to feed your kids amazing food so they can learn since they're little and they can grow healthy. Go and subscribe to Buona Papa. Hi, welcome back to Buona Papa. Today we're going to prepare together a delicious saffron chicken baby puree. This recipe is part of a lovely collaboration with my friend Vincenzo. The collaboration is about creating dishes with rice and saffron and go and check out the amazing dish that she made. You will love it. Guys, the recipe is very easy. Warm up a nice saucepan, put extra virgin olive oil, half onion or one onion up to you, chopped into the small pieces. Then you want to put saffron. You want the saffron to cook together with the onion to get the nice flavors. Then what you do, you put rice. I use a kilo of rice so I can make extra arancini and keep them in the freezer. Toast the rice for a couple of minutes and when it's toasted, you want to start adding vegetable stock. Put the vegetable stock a little bit at a time. Always make sure the stock covers the rice and keep stirring. It's very important that you keep stirring because you don't want the rice to burn or to uh, be dry. You always want to keep it nice and moist. Also put a little bit of salt, but not too much because the vegetable stock is already salty. Put as much vegetable stock as needed, but when you taste it and you know, you know it's ready, you're ready to go. It needs to be al dente. When the rice is ready, put it on a board, let it cool down and put pecorino cheese or parmesan cheese, about 100, 150 grams. When the rice cools down, you want to start making the arancini. So you have water next to you, so you always have your hands nice and uh, wet. Then you get a portion of rice, squeeze it on your hand, make it nice and flat. Then you want to put a uh, M in the middle, a little bit of provolone cheese, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, and then you get a little bit of rice, you put it on top and you close it. You want to create balls. Make sure your hands are wet. You create a ball, play around it, play with it, play with it, and then you want to pass it into eggs, first and then breadcrumbs and once you do the breadcrumbs play a little bit more because you want to make sure it's a nice tight bowl and then we fry it. Most Sicilians pass the arancini into the pastella which is a mix of water and flour and some Sicilians put egg but I don't want to use the flour I want to use the egg and the breadcrumb because in my opinion it tastes better and it's a little bit lighter but it's up to you again Sicilians will put flour into the mixture fry it in vegetable oil at 170 celsius degree when you see that it's brown it's ready you are ready to have it have it nice and hot so the cheese will melt and when the cheese melts it means that you've done a great job now guys it's time to enjoy it Make sure you go and subscribe to Barbara. Her channel is called Buona Papa, which means amazing food for kids. So make sure you learn how to cook well for your family, guys. It's very important. Hey, guys, these arancini are ready to be enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia Vincenzo's Plate. Hmm. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. It reminds me of uh, the arancino I had in Sicily. Mm. Check out the video when I went to Sicily, see ya? Yeah? I had this over there and it was amazing. Mm. I think this recipe will make me a Don Arancino. Yeah, I love arancini. Do you love arancini? Write a comment below, let me know. Mm.